The Weizmann Institute of Science is located in the town of Rehovot in the state of Israel. It is best known as an institute for research and graduate studies that is focused on the basic sciences. The Department of Materials and Interfaces brings together researchers from a variety of backgrounds including physics, chemistry and material science and is best known for interdisciplinary research in a collaborative spirit on all aspects of matter including hard matter, soft matter, living matter and is also unique in its focus on the properties of interfaces between different phases of matter. The Department of Materials and Interfaces uh, has a few groups active in uh, hard matter research. 20 years ago I discovered the new nanomaterials uh, which are called inorganic nanotubes and inorganic fullerene-like structures. These structures uh, were, are analogous to uh, the carbon fullerenes and carbon nanotubes. These nanomaterials are superior sol solid lubricants. Namely, they behave like nanoball bearing in certain way and provide lubrication under extreme conditions. These materials have been commercialized now as solid lubricants. Uh, there are now one or two companies that are involved in, in synthesizing them in substantial amounts and in, in using them as solid lubricants. Applications of solid lubricants are extending from uh, engine oil to aerospace applications, machining and sport products and re more recently medical technology. The Department of Materials and Interfaces at the Weizmann Institute of Science offers state-of-the-art facilities for all aspects of material science research, including synthesis, fa fabrication, and physical and chemical characterization. Our nano center has grown a lot during the last uh, few years. Uh, the clean room is being renovated right now. We just bought a top-of-the-line uh, even lithography systems, and we have all the uh, photolithography, the position, and etching systems for nanofabrication. Uh, our department uh, has a long uh, history of pioneering in uh, uh, several fields of uh, nanoscience and nanotechnology, some of them even before we, we talked about nanoscience and nanotechnology. Most groups uh, work on uh, nanowires. They grow them vertically from a surface uh, or in a gas phase, so the later, if they want to make a circuit out of them, they have to harvest them, disperse them, then lay them down in a line way by different methods. We just grow them horizontally in a perfectly aligned uh, uh, way so they are in the right place in the right orientation and with the right uh, length to make a, a circuit or any functional uh, nano device. Part of the philosophy of the department is that it fully recognizes theoretical and computational research to be essential uh, in the study of materials. Uh, we take great pride in the interaction between theory, computation and experiment the research areas I'm involved in uh, involve mostly soft matter. Soft matter includes a huge range of materials, including the materials that we are made of, biological materials, our cells, our tissues, our bones, and understanding soft matter is important both for technology and for biomedical applications as a result. We have identified materials that can lead to enormous reduction in friction. Uh, I envisage them being used both in medicine and in technology to save energy and to improve medical treatments. The philosophy of the Weizmann Institute of Science is to promote and encourage curiosity-driven as opposed to goal-oriented research. And that lets the people here uh, come up with uh, conceptual innovation and true breakthroughs as opposed to incremental advances. We are driven to follow our curiosity and all of us together, being from different backgrounds, actually support each other in pursuing our dreams and visions, each on his own, but together we are able to learn things which just we couldn't do by ourselves. Our current research projects involve the design and assembly of synthetic biological systems on a biochip. We are also studying water in oil droplets flowing in microfluidic channels as artificial cells. And we're also designing biological systems that could be introduced inside living cells 
to diagnose what those cells are doing and take action accordingly. For example, kill a cancer cell, but not a normal one. Our biochip will eventually lead to biomedical applications because in designing artificial systems which are able to sense and respond, we should be able to design sensors and diagnostic tools which are not available today and which are based on protein synthesis in controlled environment. The Weizmann Institute of Science in general and the Department of Materials and Interfaces in particular are an excellent choice for people uh, choosing uh, to study materials because we offer here the opportunity to do uh, cutting edge work in a state of the art facility and most importantly perhaps in an environment that is nurturing and encouraging. Students gain a lot of different experiences and a lot of different skills and this serves them extremely well in later life both if looking for jobs outside academia or if they want to be academics themselves. Weizmann Institute is an excellent place to do material science and the freedom and the facilities and the, uh, the spirit of the Weizmann Institute calls for the young generation to join us. My vision for the future of the department is that it will sustain and enhance its position as a nationally and internationally leading department in the field of material science with a strong emphasis on curiosity-driven research and on the basic science of materials.